What's up, peoples? This is um, <clears throat> Chavo coming at you with another video. Um, got a really nice piece here that just arrived recently, and I thought I'd do a quick video on it. Um, this piece is very special. I'm not sure if you, a lot of people out there know, but I like to collect pieces that are international. <clears throat> um, not only because I like the piece itself, but because they're rare to get and um, they're rare pieces to begin with, but they're more limited and very difficult to get. Like for example, the clot that's from Japan, that's very limited, the acrylic case, um, the treble color from Poland, um, the rush from Poland, and some Japanese um, market pieces um, like those. But here's another piece, this one's from Singapore. Very special piece to me. Um, only 300 of these made. Mike already did a video on this piece, um, so he beat me to the gun. I think he did one yesterday. But nevertheless, I thought I'd do a video on that. I'm rocking a custom piece from my boy, same person that sent me this, Mutiga. I can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't think I've ever heard him say his name. Mutiga from Singapore. This is a LRG pineapple band with the MM. MM, um, sh is it four? Yes, right? Darn, I can't remember. I think it is MM4 um, bezel and button, which is orange um, MM. Very nice piece. Anyway, to what we're um, reviewing today. I'm listening to some Jedi Mind Tricks. Title of the song is Blood Rain. Really strong lyrics. If anyone haven't heard, hasn't heard of Blood of um, Jedi Mind Tricks, you guys should get up on that. Similar to Wu Tang's with some um, intense lyrics, but yeah, here it is. Comes in a very standard box and tin. I know you guys have seen this before. Very standard case and tin. Put this to the side. It's actually the first time I op I just opened it. Um, Singapore Post. Took some time to arrive, but it's here. Um, first time I actually look at it in person, so we're looking at it together for the first time. Here's the warranty card, the new Casio warranty cards. Awesome. 3263 module. Here's the piece. Never opened, first time opening. Here it is. All right. This is a, a very standard GD100 module um, band um, watch. I have one, I have a GD100 uh, that I wear as my day, not a daily beater, but I wear just to like, you know, it's not a collectible piece I have it just because. Here it is, and the size is Killer Gerbil. Here's the band. Let me open it up. I hope I could do this one-handed. I usually, I hate trying to open these with one hand, but. There we go. I'll go through this and kind of explain what I learned about this piece. So there it is, Killer, Killer Gerbil. There we go. Look at this design, guys. Amazing. Amazing. You guys, um, it's hard to really show through a video camera or, or pictures or any kind of digital uh, reproduction of any image, how really intense and how really nice these designs are but this is really nice it's a little, it's a little gerbil you can see them there um, red g-shock white lettering around the, ed around the ed around the bezel at the top red g-shock on top like i said it's the gd100 sunday january 6th like mike said these are from singapore so it is sunday in Singapore so it's set with that date and time um, on the other side it says Singapore killer gerbil 
I'll explain what that means actually in a second. Here's the back plate, standard 3263 module GD100. The case back is standard, nothing, it's not a custom engraving or anything like some other pieces. Um, Here's the light for this, it's a double double LED, very cool. It's got um, world time, alarm, timer, stopwatch. And then um, back to the home time, there we go. Black buttons on the side. GD100. So let me go back. Let me go into some of the design. The reason why they designed this. So Killer Gerbo is from what from what I understand, and I'm just learning of him. But he's a street artist. Um, we call him Tigers here in Chicago. He's a graffiti artist. That's also a bicyclist enthusiast. Um, so he designed this piece, or he was given the opportunity to design this piece, and he um, used the concept of bis of, of bicycles. To, um, that's what kind of what inspired him to design how to, how to design this piece. Um, the piece is clean. It's very there's not I mean there's designs all over the place, but it's very clean and it's very standard piece. Um, and I think he, from what I read, he um, used the bike or bicycles in general. Their bicycles called um, fixies. I think that's what they call them here in um, the states. Fixie is pretty much a one gear bike. Um, that they use, I don't know if they, that's what they use in Singapore or some people use in, in Singapore. Um, they normally don't have brakes. <laughs> so you guys can imagine, um, I'm not sure what the terrain looks like in, in Singapore, but I'm guessing mountains <laughs> with no brakes. <laughs> Crazy, but in, indeed um, noteworthy. So yeah, the design of the strap here with the, with the gerbil there, I think it's, it's supposed to mock the um, one side. It's supposed to mock the 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 gear of the one the one gear of the um, the bicycles over there. And then I first thought that this was the color of the Singapore flag, and I was wrong. It's not. This is actually Killer Ger Gerbil's um, interpretation of. A champion. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but that's from what I read. That's what he's he's that's what that represents. Um, he's he believes that any person can be a champion or a winner if they dedicate themselves um, in any discipline and any anything they do. If they dedicate themselves and and focus on that, that they could be a champion. So this is what that represents. It's not the flag. So that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Here's a stamp of the killer gerbil. Like I said, he's a, he's a street artist, and I think those, this is a lot of his actual wordings and, and, and um, characters there. But that's what that all, all that stands for. Uh, there's only 300 pieces, like I said before, of this here. So it's very limited, especially since it's from Singapore. Um, so if you guys have a chance, I think you should really consider um, picking one of these up if, you, if you're able to. Um, I thought it was so important that I actually picked up two. Yeah, um, one to keep. <laughs> I probably won't wear any of them, but maybe as a as a value appreciates, um, I could use this to trade for other valuable pieces, or maybe I sell it in the future, or I'll keep it. I don't know. I tend to do that sometimes, not often, but yeah, whatever. It's in there. So yeah, guys, that's that's the. The Killer Gerbil GD100. Alright, thanks for watching and travel as always. Appreciative to all my uh, my viewers, subscribers, and I can't thank you enough. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you're watching my videos for the first time and you haven't subscribed, I really, really appreciate it if you please subscribe. I, I, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever stressed it before enough, or I don't stress it often, but I really, please subscribe. It just, I mean, it takes a second to just click on that subscribe button, but it, 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 it helps me a lot, believe it or not. So if you want to support um, this movement, the G-Shock movement, 
or want to see more videos from me, please, I ask that you subscribe and like my videos, all right? Thank you. I want to send some shout outs to um, that thing of ours, um, Scott, um, Bernie, um, Danny Handsome, Miguel Yako. A special, special, special thanks to Brian Spin um, Spindler. Uh, he's been very generous and he actually got my my wife is pregnant <laughs> and he actually sent my the baby to be a, a gift here it is look at that he bought this out when he was um, vacationing in Florida it's a vinyl mation toy with the with a New York City backdrop uh, representing the big apple as he explained there's a the top piece of the apple very nice of him to do that like I said um, it's a tight knit group and everyone's you know being very generous and very helpful so I really appreciate that from him I also want to thank once again um, Mutiga okay, I hope I'm pronouncing that right Mood from Singapore for sending me these pieces I really appreciate it man mad love from Chicago you know I got you whatever you need um, so that's it guys all right, some more shout outs. Let me see who am I missing. Tori, uh, Michael, you know, from, I think he's from Ohio or Indiana. I forget. So, yeah, Michael, uh, Mark, also from, Jer from Jersey. Um, who else am I missing? Oh, man, I hate when I miss people. I always, when I'm on the spot, I forget things. But um, you guys know. Mad love to all that, all those people subscribe to me and um, Jamie from London, G Shock Boy, Brad Guns, uh, Tom, Tom Watcha, yeah, from Thailand, <laughs> uh, cool guy, very cool guy. Um, who else? Man, I don't know. Rock it. Do your thing, everybody. All right, video's long enough. I'm reaching 13 minutes and rambling on, so I want to thank everybody. I'm sorry for those that I missed. And um, any questions, please comment. I'll check comments there chronically. And I'm almost close to 200 subscribers, guys. So, yes, it's almost time for another giveaway. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. Chavo, I'll let you boy, and I'm out.